Hello and welcome back to another episode. I took like a two, three day something break in between recording and I am back full of vigor. Um, even though I nearly f fucking fucked up um, earlier. Well met traveler, what business brings you here? I want to go through, please. Yes, of course, right away. Or sorry, right this way, I mean. Oh, guys, here it is. Yes! No matter how far he goes, man cannot resist looking back on the path he has walked. Lahi! The untold stories and secrets of the past can be more alluring than the promise of tomorrow. So he braves the forests of Raktika in search of mystery and wonder. Of Ronka, to which all seekers of hidden truths are inevitably drawn. Welcome to the Raktika Great Wood. <clears throat> we have arrived. I love this fucking Lahi meme. Vast though these woods may be, they are, by and large, uninhabitable. Hmm. Not so the swamps of Sidia, however, whose sparse foliage permitted man a foothold. Oh fucking god. Damn it. Why the fuck? He just fucking waltzes through like... All no right. lands must remain beyond our grasp. Go forth. Conquer. Rule! Forgive me. A sudden pang of nostalgia for those halcyon days. Oh my fucking god. Exploring virgin territories, subjugating primitive peoples, all for the glory of Garlemald. Why the fuck are you here? If you've brought your ivory standard, I'll be happy to tell you where to stick it. <laughs> Can we not simply take a moment to enjoy the view together? Or would you rather I spied on you from the shadows? I mean... Both are... I do not like. <sighs> Much more of this and I may very well begin to regret my show of good faith. Hmm. If you really want to stay, then help us fight. <laughs> mm, no, I think not. I am an observer, nothing more. <coughs> You're just lazy. Like me. Even shielded by the shadows of these boughs, I feel the light's presence most keenly. To accompany you is taxing enough. To fight is out of the question. I will suffer your company if I must, but not your country. Oh my god, this song is so good. Forgive me if I just stand idle. Look at me, I'm trying to listen to the music! Okay, fine, we'll continue. Uh, to explain our ASEAN counterpart, mean it to follow with, uh, follow where, wheresoever we lead. Were it otherwise, he would not suffer the overabundance of light in these woods. I mean, yeah. Verily, it perv uh, pervadeth every corner, and so long as the Light Warden remaineth, the Sin Eater shall be free to prey upon these lands without success, uh, surcease. If not is done, tis but a matter of time before the blessed uh, succumb. Two years passed, a swarm of Sin Eaters did lay waste unto their largest settlement, killing a great many of their priests in, do in so doing. Though, many, uh, though some few did survive, they knew not how to go on, wayward souls in want of a guiding hand. For mercy, your stola hath provided that which they sorely needed. 
They have since endeavored to restore their home, and thither shall we bend our steps. To Fort Gone. Or Gone. Gone? Gone? Also, hey, look at my ex- <laughs> Look at my fucking level. I'm level 78, and I'm bare- I'm barely, like, to, like- The- I- I've just done, like, the second dungeon. By this point, I'm just gonna- I'm gonna be max level. Before the end of the game. <laughs> I'm fucking I'm laughing. That's great. Hmm. Yeah, like, you, you can see the light up there. Like, it's so bright, dude. Oh my god, flying around this area is gonna be so nice. I guess we gotta wait here. Hmm. I guess this is the settlement that got destroyed by the uh, Sin Eaters. I see little sign of recent activity, nor hath any meaningful progress been made with the reconstruction. Mayhap Yishtola sought shelter elsewhere. Come, let us quit this place. Maybe they're hiding though, who knows. Um... Now, surround them! Um... Uh, uh, um... Uh huh. Okay. Oh, this is a pleasant welcoming. These sin eaters, they're not like the others. We're not sin eaters! There's a reason for that. Lower your weapons, please. We mean you no harm. How is it they could speak? Yeah, because we're not sin it's eaters. A sin -eater trick. They mean to kill us all. No. Hmm. I'm not gonna choose that one because that's not what my character would say. But please, we're not sin eaters. We're we're just adventurers. Perhaps they speak the truth. If we were, we would have, you know, done something. Emmett, I swear. Oh, for the love of. I had hoped that by accompanying you, we might come to understand one another. But all I have come to understand is that you have a knack for inflaming the natives. It is not my fault! You've committed the cardinal sin of boring me. And so, I retire to the shade. Well, goodbye. Good luck. Motherfucker. Did you see that one disappear? Oh, motherfucker! Uh, I think I preferred La Habrea. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, thank her. Me too. Or even a little bit at this rate. Enough. Runar, report. <gasps> Master Matoya! We apprehended them as you ordered, but are you certain these are sin eaters? The intense light of the ether I saw was unmistakable. If not sin eaters, then what? Uh. It is passing queer that Yishtola should mistake us for the enemy, is it not? 
Yeah. Mayhap it have been too long since last she beheld the radiance of thine ether. Oh. Master Matoya, hath time truly made strangers of us? Nay, I recognize you, Urianger, Thancred. And this is Minfilia of the First, of whom you spoke before. Oh, she doesn't! <laughs> Just so. And knowing as thou must that we come in peace, might I prevail upon thee to have thy comrades lower their arms? Oh, she doesn't remember us. Ashu, it might be because we absorbed so much of like the light that it's like blinding to her. Because she's blind, but she can like see someone's either. Like, you know, so maybe since we absorbed like so much light from the light wardens that we've killed like T uh, Titania and uh, Philia, maybe it's like basically like to her, it's like looking at the sun. And so she can't tell who we are. First explain this other presence in your company, the one I know not. There is but one manner of creature in this world whose ether is suffused with such an abundance of light. Mine apologies, Master Matoya, but thou art mistaken. Before thee standeth our dearest comrade, the truest hero among us. Though he is but recently arrived here in the first, not one but two Light Wardens have already perished by his most puissant hand. It, it cannot be. Nice to see you too, Master Matoya. Master Matoya? Lower your weapons. Forgive us this hostile welcome. Come. I would give you a proper introduction to Raktika and its people. Oh, it's been too long. I fucking... I'm gonna fucking cry, dude. Oh, yeah. Hello. Ma I swear. You have been busy since arriving the first, I gather, but I would hear the tales of your travail... Oh, sorry. Tale of your travails in more suitable surroundings. With Fort gone yet to be rebuilt, the Knights Blessed have made their home in a settlement to the northeast. I will await you at its entrance. Follow the path through yonder gate and you will find me soon enough. Oh, I am slightly lagging. Hello. Alright. Yeah, okay, let us... I'm pretty sure there's an ether current somewhere near here, but I will go back once I have finished everything here. For those ether currents. I mean, if I see them like on my road, on, my, on the way to my next destination, I, I mean, yeah, I'll go grab it real quick. But if I don't see it, then... Uh, then, well, sucks. There she is. There you are, I was beginning to worry. Much like the Twelves would, this forest has a way of dealing with those who stray too far from the beaten path. But I digress. Let me show you the home of the Knights Blessed. Yeah. Let's head inside. Why am I lagging? Ooh. Slitherbow is the largest of the blessed settlements. 
They worship no gods, instead revering darkness itself. It is a curious kind of faith, but one which has granted them the strength to persevere in the wake of the flood. I hope you weren't expecting a grand feast by way of welcome. They are simple people. No, I'm not. I really wasn't expecting anything, really. I just expected to see you again. Oh, I love her. Now, I would hear of your travels away from prying ears. Come. It's been so long since like we've been together, like gathered like this. Oh, it's a uh, Matoya's theme. I see. And now you seek the Light Warden of Rektika. Yep. In the days after I arrived in the first, I too relied upon the Crystal Exarch for guidance. But his penchant for secrecy and the telling of half truths soon lost him my trust. And thus did I strike out on my own. Mm. My work eventually led me here to the forest, which I have come to know like the back of my hand. I cannot say with certainty where your quarry is hiding, but I am confident I can narrow the search. Well, go on then. Some few thousand years ago, this forest stood at the heart of the Empire of Ronka. A great many relics of that civilization can still be found to the east in Ixmaya. Or rather, could be found, were the area not fiercely guarded. Ixmaya, you see, is home to a tribe of warriors whose lineage is said to date back to the time of the Empire. Any attempt to enter their territory is met with lethal force. They offer no warnings and suffer no trespasser to escape. Needless to say, my every attempt to survey the area has been thwarted. Mayhap the Warden hideth there, full knowing none may approach it for fear of these protectors. As for the tablet... I find the timing of its discovery suspiciously convenient. If I did not know better, I would think someone was trying to curry favor with me. Regardless, it will take time to decipher these writings. Yet I would not be at all surprised if they somehow held the key to entering Ixmaya unmolested. The Exarch has a nose for serendipity. If there is aught I can do to assist thee in unraveling their secrets, thou needst only ask. Thank you, Urianger. I may well take you up on that offer. While we set to work, might I suggest you take a tour of the city? Mm, sure. Should you be in any doubt as to the importance of your role as the warrior of darkness, the people here will surely cure you of it. I must say, Ishtola, while most of us have struggled to come to terms with our altered circumstances, you seem to have adapted rather well. Lest you forget, Master Matoya and I dedicated our lives to uncovering the truth which hides at the heart of our world. Though separate, the fate of this reflection is nevertheless bound to that of our home. That I would be daunted by such an invaluable opportunity is absurd. But what of you, Thancred? Could it be that you are still struggling to come to terms with the nature of your young companion? Oh my god, you stole her. My struggles are none of your concern. Quite why you would speak thus and in this company, I do not know. 
Perhaps you left more of yourself back in the source than I assumed. If you'll excuse me. No. He understands that I'm not the same, that I'm not her. Understands, perhaps, but does not accept. The question being whether he ever will, and whether you will, more importantly. As difficult as your circumstances may be, they are yours, not his. Tis you and you alone who bears ultimate responsibility for your life. But you need not make any hard choices now. Why not go and get some fresh air? Clear your head. Oh, poor Minfilia. Dang. A day in the neighborhood. I am not indifferent to Thakur's troubles. Nevertheless, I will not apologize for holding him to a higher standard after all these years. He has ever been a man of considerable resolve, and this is what I will continue to expect. Though it heartens me to know that some of us remain ourselves in spite of our present circumstances. I can't but imagine how Alize and Alphino have changed since arriving here in the first. They're fairly the same! Perhaps you should be more concerned with how you have changed? No. Change is part of life. We can but hope it changes for the better. <sighs> You're right. And after my untoward remarks to thank Grid, no doubt he thinks I changed for the worse. I will have to speak with him later. <clears throat> Returning to the matter at hand, I really must begin work on deciphering the tablet. In the meantime, perhaps you should take a look around a uh, sl Slitherbow. If there's anything you need, pray speak with Runar at the plaza. Can I take Minfilia with me? Like, please, Minfilia. I wish... I wish I'd never... Oh, baby! Uh, when Shlila first arrived in the first, she made swift work of the Cabinet of Curiosity. Her thirst yet unsated, she then journeyed hither, seeking the wisdom of Ronka. She found little in the way of welcome... A welcome from the blessed, however, t'was not until the Great Fire, where she denied the Sin Eaters a feast of either, that she gained their trust. Since then, I have served as a liaison to explore the bow at the Crystarium, that she might be able- or so sorry, sorry. She might be kept abreast of the other's efforts. Um, I have instructed Runar to help you with anything you should require. Alright. Let's go speak with Runar. Welcome, friend! Welcome! My apologies for our less than hospitable greeting earlier. Tell me, what is your name? From where do you hail? From the Crystarium! I see, and this tablet you've brought may help us find the Light Warden here in Raktika. Well, you're welcome to stay with us for as long as you need. Come, let me show you around. Alright. <gasps> yes! Baby. Mimphilia. Uh, would it be alright if I joined you? Of course, of course. Anything for the guest of dear Master Matoya. Thank you. She means a great deal to the Knights Blessed, doesn't she? If not for her, we may have all perished in the Great Fire. With our priests slain and our home in ruins, we were at the mercy of the Sin Eaters. It was she who drove them back, and with her sage guidance, we were able to rebuild. Before long, she became a central figure in our community, a great oak within the shad- uh, sorry. A great oak within whose shadow many have come to find solace. This is not to say that there were those um, not hesitant to grant an outsider such authority, myself included. Perhaps it's the, it is the smile in her eyes when she speaks of the sunless sea. I feel whole again. Now that she is with us, I have no doubt that the, that the others feel the same. She's much a part of the Night's Blessed as any of us, and we are grateful for all she does in service to the Dark. But you did not hear this from me, yes? 
Now, you should know where certain cu uh, sorry, there are certain customs we ask guests to adhere to, so long as they reside within Slitherbow. To show reverence to the dark? In a word, yes, but fear not, it is not too involved. Let us begin with something simple. Follow me. Okay. I gotta speak with the uh, bar. I'll keep real quick. Oh well. Hmm. They have a moogle and everything here. Nice. Where do you have to go? Speak with Renar. He's over here. Yep. Let's see. Oh, what are these? Should you see any of our people come to this chamber, they have likely returned from a journey beyond the borders of Raktika. We use the water stored here to cleanse ourselves of the light's impurity. A simple and perhaps peculiar custom, but it is one of our most important. I would you two kneel for just a moment that I might rid you of the light's impurity? Sure! Slash... Kneel... Splish splash. It'd be really funny if like it was like holy water on a on a demon or something and we were just like, well, As Runar lightly sp uh, sprays you with water, your skin begins to tingle. Wow! And with that, you have been cleansed of the light's blighted touch. How do you feel? Fine. I'm not sure, to be honest. Not refreshed, exactly, but I do feel different. Has this water been treated in some way? Only blessed by our priests. They are practiced in the arcane arts, and uh, as such, it is said their prayers imbue the, uh, the water with a faint dark energy. Huh. Uh. A prickling sensation? No one has ever spoken of such a reaction before. <laughs> I wouldn't say it was an unpleasant sensation, but I too felt something strange. I think it's because we are basically light touched. The dark aspect of this water should have no discernible effect, unless... By the gods, Master Matoya was right! You are Sin Eaters! No! I jest, I jest. What you felt was, uh, was likely no more than the chill of the water. Perhaps now it would be a good time for you to acquaint yourselves with the people of Slitherbow. I swear to god, it's because we basically absorbed a bunch of light from the Light Wardens, isn't it? For that, I must teach you a customary greeting. Alintuta. In the language of Ronka, it is one of several ways one might say, Good evening. The world is not as safe as it once was, and this greeting lets us quickly discern friend from foe. Is there a handshake or gesture we should know too? I would hate to offend anyone. You need not worry. Merely the words Alintuta and they will know you as friends of the blessed. I will await your return here. Now go. They would like to be heartened by your knowledge of our ways. All right, let's go. Time to go. So slash say, oh no, it's slash say. Ah! Suffering. At least it's only three times. Ugh. There's like a bunch of people here too, so whatever. Uh, okay. Do they look at us? No. Okay. So what's it? Oh, we are in slash say so. What's 
say Alin to the what to say enter to greet the residents of Slitherbow. The elderly woman smiles warmly. Aw, nice. I'm not gonna bother with um, trying to speak with them because I already know, like, they're not gonna say anything, so. Ah, a newly come traveler, Aline Chisi, and welcome to Slitherbow. I don't know what that means. Uh, you must forgive us if we stream, uh, sorry, if we seem strangely reserved. We are a quiet and tactitarian people. Silent and serene as the sunless sea, the quiet makes it easy to discern the presence of eaters and other dangers here in the woods. Oh, yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's fair. Also, I still don't know what, when to say, when to use reprise. I guess it's just like when you have like a mismatched amount. Like I guess it's just like an off cooldown kind of thing. Because you only need repost, like enchanted repost, as we say, redoublement. Like, just these three to get your Verholy for player combo. So I don't. I don't know when to use Reprise. But, well. Away with you. Yeah, it's because I didn't do these. Heh. <laughs> Alien Chisi. Welcome, friend. I take it you will remain in the woods for some time, yes? Be wary of these woods. You will find poison in near everything you see. But fear not, our medicinal tea will keep you healthy. Ask, and it is yours. Okay. Where's Minfilia? My daughter. Daughter, dearest. Baby. Where'd she go? There she is. Everyone was so kind and gracious. I was nervous at first, but already I'm starting to feel at home. There's still much I have to learn about the Knights Bless, but their faith and strength of will is nothing short of inspiring. I can see now how they've built such a thriving community. Alright, a helping hand. Let's see what we can do to help. Ah, you are returned. Very good. No doubt they were glad of your company. It has been too long since we've had visitors. Remember, if you have any questions, or if there is anything you need, do not hesitate to ask. Alright. Speaking of which, we must arrange food and lodgings for your stay. As friends of Master Matoya, we cannot ask for payment, but if you'd be so willing as to lend a hand. Of course. Ooh, I'd rather not. How rude. Uh, it would be my pleasure. We are fortunate indeed to play host to such generous souls. The task I have in mind is simple enough. It's to go hunting, right? I want to kill things. All I ask is that you take a jug and water the crops in the square. Oh, okay. May I help too? Of course. One of you can do the filling and the other the watering. Speak with uh, Ursa Bell when you have finished. She will be relieved to hear the crops have been tended to. While you take care of that, I will see you to your room and a warm meal. Thank you. These people are so nice. Right then, I'll fill you water. Got it. This was the only jug I could find, which was small enough to lift, but I'm afraid there's a crack at the bottom. You'll need to hurry to the garden before the all the water leaks out. Take the jug before you have 45 seconds. Should you fail, return to Minfilia and try again. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, look at us, we're carrying it! Dude, that's so cool. No, that's so cool. I've never seen our character, like, actually, like, carrying things before. Like, we've delivered things. But we've never, like, you know, actually carried it. Uh, you have watered half of the plot. Fetch another jug of water to take care of the rest. Okay. On it, chief. 
Hey, Mephilia. Was there enough water for the plot? Yeah, but I'm gonna need one more. Only half? I see. Well, let me refill the jug for you. Yep. 30 seconds! Wait, hold on. Plot? Uh, the whole plot has now been thoroughly watered. Alright. Well met, travelers. I observed you earlier speaking with the others. Have you needed something? You are the crops? Uh, my apologies for not noticing sooner. I have been rather distracted of late. Watering the crops was always Todia's duty, but she is no longer with us. We have since taken to share. Uh, we have since taken to sharing the duty, though never with guests. You are most kind. Is there anything else we could do to help? We could plant something if you like. There is no need. The plot is small, it is true, but it provides us with enough to survive. We ask for no more. I don't know how you manage. Have the blessed not considered leaving? Life would surely be easier almost anywhere else. I can understand why you might say that, but the easiest path is not always the right one. Tell me, do you know of our history? How our faith came to be? Uh, uh... Yes, I believe so. The Knights Bless was initially formed by those who lost their homes in the wake of the Flood. What began as an occasional gathering of survivors eventually grew into a community, which ultimately decided to strike out on its own in the Raktika Greatwood. I see if you have read your history, but there is a history that is told and one that is lived. Like so many in those times, the first of the Knights Blessed lost everything. Their homes, their loved ones, all they held dear. To make matters worse, none could say what became of the souls of those lost to the Flood when their bodies were reborn as Sin Eaters. The people were without answers, without hope, their gods having drowned along with everything else. It seemed that nothing was beyond the reach of the light. But soon they realized that where there is light, there must be darkness. And in that truth, they found new faith, a belief that the souls of the departed could yet find peace beyond these burning skies in the sunless sea above. That is why we pray, for the safe passage of wayward souls unto that blessed black abyss, for the return of the night that we might someday look upon the kingdom of heaven with our own eyes. We remain in these woods for the selfsame reason our founders first chose them that we might lead lives of simplicity with the shade of these trees as a constant reminder of our faith. With so many seeking paradise in Yulmore, it is refreshing to find people who value a humbler experience. You are kind to say so. Many consider our way of life foolish, and so it must seem to those who yet cling to their worldly possessions. In times such as these, when everything can be taken away in an instant, it is all too easy to lose sight of why we fight to go on living. It is not to hold fast to material things, but to hold those who went before us in our hearts to keep alive the legacy they have left us. This we must do for them, our children and generations yet unborn. I'm sorry if you heard a beeping noise. That was weird. Uh, to keep their legacy alive. Ooh. Oh, baby. Oh no, it's the stupid fire alarm that he's changing, isn't it? Ah, uh, oh well. Oh, oh my god, Jimmy Chunga. Anyways, we're gonna end the episode here. Uh, because I think it's a great time right before we accept the next quest. So, I will see you all in the next episode. Take care. Be safe.